Hey everyone, welcome to the 2020 Tikkunma Moon Festival. Thank you so much for joining us and we're going to learn more today in this uh, interview about the Commission on Immigrant and Refugee Affairs in the city of Tacoma. We have a co-host, Greg Utes, and I myself is uh, also a co-host here, Lotus Perry. I'm also a board member on the Chinese Reconciliation Project Foundation. And I'm going to go ahead and turn over to Greg, and he's going to introduce our guest today. Thank you, Lotus, very much. And thank you, uh, Reem Ujdi and Jefferson Mock, for joining us from the commission. The Chinese Reconciliation Project Foundation, which runs the Tacoma Moon Festival and also is, works with the city and Metro Parks in running the Chinese Park on Tacoma's waterfront, uh, this is an organization dedicated to uh, commemorating the events of 1885 in which an immigrant community, the Chinese, were driven forcibly from the city of Tacoma, and also to um, uh, inspire current Tacoma citizens to work towards an inclusive and diverse and welcoming city in this modern global era. And uh, so I think that both the Moon Festival itself as well as the Reconciliation Project Foundation um, uh, find a lot of overlap in our activities and our interests with the Commission on Immigrant and Refugee Affairs. And so we are delighted during this virtual Tacoma Moon Festival 2020 to uh, uh, host this interview with two members of the Commission to tell us what the Commission does and how Tacoma uh, citizens might be able to get involved. So with me today are Reem Ujdi, and Jefferson Mock, and I will ask them both to introduce themselves. Reem, let's begin with you. Hi, uh, thank you very much for having us. My name is Reem Ushdi. I am um, a member of CIRA, which is the Commission of Immigrants and Refugee Affairs. Um, I am also the chair of the Community Engagement Committee. Um, I have been with the Commission since March, uh, so I'm pretty, uh, a pretty new member to the commission, and uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Commissioner Mock. Thank you, Greg. My name is Jefferson Mock. I uh, joined the commission in 2018, and I currently chair the commission. Um, I also participate in some of the committees, uh, notably the governance committee, which is really trying to continue to shape uh, what this commission does and how to better improve our ability to um, elevate the voices of immigrant and refugees in Tacoma. Thank you. And uh, Jefferson, sticking with you, um, since you've been on it the longest, why don't you tell us a little bit about the origin and the history of the commission um, and how it works with the city and its makeup? Sure. So the commission itself launched in 2018. Uh, I think it was around April 2018, but really the work began a couple of years prior um, when there was an Immigrant and Refugee Affairs Task Force, which was trying to, to determine how the city of Tacoma could best support these communities. And the recommendation from this task force was twofold, to create this commission, which broadly speaking uh, would help represent Immigrant and Refugee Affairs, and then to create an Immigrant Defense Fund uh, a legal fund to uh, address the needs of individuals who are detained at the uh, detention center here in Tacoma. Um, this resolution to create this commission was paired with a, another resolution that the city of Tacoma signed on to to participate in the Welcoming Cities Initiative, uh, which is part of the organization uh, Welcoming America. And that initiative lays out some of the values that uh, a welcoming city would aspire to. And it very much is in line with the equity framework that the city of Tacoma has laid out for itself. Um, one thing to note is that this framework is, is non-binding. It's really uh, aspirational, advisory. It, these are not legal obligations. Um, that's why sometimes when you hear the debate about a sanctuary city versus a welcoming city, um, it's good to keep in mind that these are the values that a city embraces but doesn't necessarily uh, have a specific legal obligation to, to uphold. Great. And um, I know that you work 
in some ways under or with the Office of Equity and Human Rights for the city of Tacoma. What is that relationship? So this uh, commission, along with the Human Rights Commission for Tacoma and the Commission on Disabilities, uh, it, it, it's part of that group of commissions that are housed and supported by the Office of Equity and Human Rights. Um, but all of the individuals participating in these commissions are volunteers. They are appointees um, who are appointed by the City Council's Committee on uh, Vitality and Safety. So we all apply to be on this commission. There is an interview process uh, with city council members, and then we are appointed for terms um, varying for, from one, two, or three years. Great. And uh, Reem, you mentioned you were a recent uh, member. Um, how many members are they, and, and what is the, the makeup of, of the membership? So um, we have about 11 members. Um, which includes one youth um, member representing the youth, um, it would be youth slash young adult representative. Uh, we also have one alternate um, who was nominated and appointed by a majority vote of the city council. Great. Um, staying with you, Reem, um, give us a little sense of the, of the mission of the commission. I don't know if there's an official mission statement uh, or if you want to paraphrase for us. Yeah, sure. I would say that the, the commission's mission or role is to advise the mayor and the city council on matters impacting immigrants um, and refugees living and also working in the city. And it also um, supports the city's goals on immigrant integration. Um, and it does so by providing outreach and community feedback, um, again, to the mayor and the city council uh, so we try to bridge the gap in between the city council and what's actually going on in our city and the immigrants in our city and refugees in our city. It sounds that it's important that you are not actually city employees, that you are actually community members who are deeply embedded in some of these communities so that you have some very deep personal information. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Um, Jefferson, what uh, activities is the commission currently involved in? Ooh, well, I, you know, I can lay out for you um, our structure a little bit, which gives a sense of our priorities and then kind of go into some of the specific activities that committees are involved in. Um, so like many government bodies, we have subgroups, which we call committees for this commission. And we have five currently. One is focused on community engagement. That's the one that Reem currently chairs, uh, one on language access, another focused on community safety, one that is focused on the Northwest Detention Center, which is now called the Northwest Immigrant Processing Center, and then one which is more internal, and that's the one I chair on governance, and that's to ensure that we are a body that continues to evolve and strengthen our processes um, as we also learn how to function within an institu institutional setting. Right. Um, Reem, I don't know if you want to tell us anything about what the conversations are currently within your committee? Yeah, sure. So right now we're actually preparing for Welcome in a Week, uh, which is upcoming in 10 days. Um, so in, in general, just to give you an idea, Welcome in a Week is a national movement in which uh, communities gather to recognize and celebrate the contributions and sacrifices of, again, our um, the immigrants and refugees within our city. Um, so um, in 2014, the city council adopted a resolution authorizing the city city members uh, membership in the Welcoming Cities and Counties Initiative, uh, which encourages communities to create more welcoming, immigrant-friendly environments that maximize opportunities for economic growth and cultural vitality. So what we are doing right now, again, we have um, reached out to different um, other com community uh, members, community uh, partners that are working closely with um, immigrants and refugees. And we um, were just asking them if they have any um, activities or projects in mind or 
um, again, any events that they are planning to, to hold during welcoming week. Uh, we offered our assistance, our help, and we really want to be in um, be part of the of the different events happening during welcoming week because again we are close to the community, the immigrant community, and to the uh, refugee community. So we can definitely have bring an input or bring a different opinion that um, would be helpful and useful. Um, to make this event even more successful. Wonderful, and this is an annual event every September, is that right? Yes, yes correct. Wonderful. By the time our audience watches this interview, that will be in the past. So <laughs> they can look forward to maybe participating in that event in the fall of 2021. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, Rian, I'm so glad you're highlighting the relationship between immigrant and refugee communities to the city overall and how this event contributes. I, I feel like it gets to one of the fundamental questions of what this commission is trying to address. And that is looking at that relationship and understanding how we better empower immigrant and refugee community members, how we examine um, how this relationship has uh, gone in the past, you know, and really looking at some key events like the um, expulsion of Chinese immigrants back in the 1800s and revisiting how we center immigrant and refugee perspectives. So one of the key ideas we took with this particular welcoming week was asking, what does it mean to have immigrants and refugees in the audience rather than performing their cultural heritage for others? If we say that uh, we're doing things that are welcoming for people, and really making sure that they feel comfortable in the space, then it's not necessarily putting them on a stage and asking for other people to accept them. And, and I, I just bring this up because, you know, for so many of us on this commission, this work is, um, of course, social, community focused, but also deeply personal. Uh, I'm, I'm excited that Reem joined our commission and is here because I think her personal narrative brings so much to the city of Tacoma. And I know for myself as a Chinese American and somebody who was born in Hong Kong and emigrated to the US when I was seven, um, this particular narrative of uh, the explosion of Chinese uh, community members from Tacoma, you know, it, it's something that I didn't know about before moving to Tacoma, but I'm deeply aware of it now because I help represent a community that no longer exists here and really has decided not to rebuild here. And so it's a question of how we represent the communities that exist in Tacoma, but also being painfully aware of the voices that aren't at the table and how we elevate those too. Um, so it's something that I, I know each one of us on the commission has thought about deeply and, and we try to bring to each thing that we do. If, if I was going to highlight one big thing that we're working on, we recently sent to the city council are uh, recommendations for the biennial budget that will be um, voted on in October. So hopefully not too late for your audience to uh, write to city council to voice their support for that. But we did share uh, publicly our recommendation um, that hopefully will increase the representation more directly for immigrant and refugee uh, community members because currently this commission is it. We, we don't have um, city council members who have that background. We um, don't have a lot of city staff that work with us that bring that background. So the more ways that we can invest directly into immigrant and refugee affairs, and then specifically immigrants and refugees themselves, um, the more succe successful I think this commission will become. So I, 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 quite, a, quite a bit there and uh, I, I hope that all connects for people it, to us. These are all you know, interrelated activities. Everything from budget uh, recommendations to welcoming week to uh, thinking about how this commission can support efforts in the anti-racism struggle right now. All of it, we, we are focused on building power for immigrant and refugee communities. Thank you so much to both Reem Ujdi and Jefferson Mock, commissioners on the Immigrant and Refugee Affairs Commission for the city of Tacoma. Um, this has been a really wonderful uh, introduction. Um, we're so pleased that you were able to be available to us for this interview as we 
proceed with our virtual Tacoma Moon Festival. Um, anybody who is interested in more about what your commission does can certainly check out the website. Um, and by all means, check out the, the welcoming week, um, which I gather you're going to have some online things as well yourself. So thank you so much again. Uh, and um, we look forward to interacting with you much more in the near future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.